What is that? What's up everybody, this is Style 720 Lace Up Thing News. Excuse me, I'm kind of stuttering. But I figured I might make a video of this machine um, due to its popular request by one of my friends at school. Um, he was kind of interested in one of these machines. Uh, he wanted to buy one off of me. Uh, I declined because I, I, I use all of these machines. One, Well, I have two of them down there, but those are uh, currently for parts. I'm getting a message on Skype, please ignore it. <laughs> So this machine is my main workstation. Oh, come on. Alright, sorry about that. One of my friends had interest in this machine, and I told him he couldn't buy it, but he'd still like to see it in action. So here we go. This is a Dell Precision 670. This is probably one of Dell's top-of-the-line machines. They ever, Actually, this was the top-of-the-line machine they ever released in 2000 and, um, I believe, 2001. Uh, you couldn't go any higher than this machine. This machine was the top dog. We're talking, uh... Although this machine is compatible with dual core Xeons uh, with a BIOS update, this machine is still rocking that very old BIOS, Revision A3, I believe. So this machine has currently two single core Xeons at 2. Point, or I believe it's at 3.8 gigahertz. So these things are clocked pretty high there. This thing is a space heater. And um, there is two of them in there. They're both Xeons. These are the first generation Xeons that were ever released by... Uh, by uh, Intel, so I wouldn't say the first generations, but these are this this is one of the first generation Xeon machines. Now this machine is old. We're talking almost about uh, I'd say maybe 13, 14 years old here, or maybe 15 years old. So it's a very old machine. Um, let's see, 2001. I don't want to do the math, but in case of those who are wondering, so uh, let's see, uh, 11, 12, 13, 13. Uh, hold on, I'm a little confused here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So yeah, we're talking 15 years old here. This machine is 15 years old. Very old machine, but it's still kicking ass. So uh, this is my main workstation. Now, I when I do a lot of fixing computers for people, uh, it happens right at this workstation right here, uh, and that one too. But that's it. I've already showed this computer off in another video. It's no longer upstairs for those who are wondering. But this machine is where I get drivers and downloads and stuff. This machine is commonly just like a, I repair people's computers at this machine. So, for the peripherals, I've got a very, I mean very old, and my camera's like freaking out in autofocus. This is a very old Apple Cima display, or studio display, or whatever the hell it is. This thing is a massive 22-inch CRT. And for those who are wondering, that thing takes up the whole goddamn desk, so I have to put the keyboard and mouse over here on the light. So this thing is like absolutely massive and it's a space heater as well. It gets really hot. But without further ado, um, I got a generic gateway keyboard that's really dirty, but this is a really nice rubber dome keyboard so I use it all the time. And an Asus mouse that tracks nicely so I use it. I got a spare DVD drive there, a USB one, because all the, some of the computers I work on either don't have working DVD drives or whatever. This machine also has a DVD drive on it. This machine had three, like, two DVD drives. I took one out and I put one in. They're both SATA drives and I can't use SATA on this machine. The one thing Dell did include was SATA 2 on this machine. So this machine was packing really advanced SATA for the time. Unfortunately, though, um, SATA was not very popular back then. So if you were expected to use SATA, you weren't expected to use a lot because it was expensive back then. So this machine is rocking only two SATA port drives, uh, and one thing that really pissed me off is Adaptic made the controllers on these things. This is a SCSI system too. This machine has ATA, SATA, and SCSI. Unfortunately, if you really wanted to have max capacity drives at fast speeds, you were kind of expected to use SCSI. Both SATA, or serial ATA, and uh, SCSI on this system were barely barely supported by any driver versions on Windows, except for Windows XP, for whatever goddamn reason, had the drivers. Windows 7 and 
And Windows Vista and Up did not have those drivers for those two controllers, and that made me really angry, but I was able to pull them online. This machine was also one of the first machines to include RAID. So, go ahead and we'll boot her up and bring her into this pause menu here. I think it's this thing. This monitor is actually really nice. I really do like it. It is an old and it is a beast of a monitor, but it still is really nice. And I am very thankful I have it. And uh, one of the nice things about it, it doesn't flicker all that much. Well, it does, but not as much as a normal CRT would. So, this system, like I said, is a Dell work System Workstation 670, so it's a precision. And actually, I was completely wrong. This BIOS revision is actually up to date. Uh, I guess the one over one of them over there has an A3 BIOS. This one could, in theory, run those dual processor, um, one of those dual two core systems. The, the max cores you could put in one processor socket was two, and that's literally when Intel just developed dual core systems. So this is one of the first dual core systems that could ever be used with dual cores. So the dual core compatibility, I believe, came in in 2003, and Dell somehow managed to allow these systems to use two core uh, processors so that was that was a huge success for these machines so this was one of the first dual core systems and there's both the processor specs as you can see and they're pretty down there in specs they are 64 bit hyper threading but multiple core compatibility on these are lacking and this system only has two gigs of ram 400 megahertz because this system does not like ram i have a bunch of ram i could stick in this thing i can have enough to put bump it up to 16 gigs but RAM on these systems is extremely picky, so I only got two gigs in the system. Not nothing I'm really going to be doing much. But as you can see, uh, this drive is controlled by the RAID BIOS. I got two 80 gig drives in there, and nothing else is really hooked up. We got a DVD drive, and that's practically it. Uh, performance, CPU count that basically nails the second CPU. Hyper threading, speed step, all those are on. Speed step on these systems is extremely sloppy. They were always were sloppy back then. And uh, this machine is running Windows 7. Funny because these machines shipped with Windows XP 64-bit, which a lot of people did not like. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, Windows XP 60, there was a 64-bit version of XP. It was not very common that people used it because A, it had a lot of stability issues. With 64-bit, you would have expected it to be very stable. It was the exact opposite. It was extremely unstable, crashed a lot. And some people got lucky. These machi this machine had 64-bit on it when I first got it. It was pretty stable. I used it, and I said, okay, I'm just going to upgrade to 7, because why not? And this machine had Vista on it for a long period of time, too. Um, go ahead and hit Control, Delete. And I got to enter my password here, so I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Oh, let me turn the, uh... Yeah, I used that as my computer speaker. Here we go. Yeah, this is what it looks like, guys. This machine actually has a RAID 0 in it. Uh, this is actually one of my only machines that uses a RAID uh, array in it. So this machine, as you can see, we go to my computer. We got two 80 gig drives in there. So that's, that bumps it up to about 160 gigs or somewhere around there. Or 180 gigs, but... Or 140 gigs, my bad. For whatever reason, it sees 148, so that's kind of odd. Um, as you can see... Oh, one thing Dell nailed on the spot was these drawers, like the little, these little things. I thought that was really cool. Um, I used to have a bunch of DVD drives in this thing. I have like three DVD drives in it. Um, the reason why is because it used to be, I used to use it to burn discs and stuff. But I have a CD server for that now, which I will be making a video of sometime. There's nothing really else to show about this machine. It's pretty straightforward, a very basic system. Um... Runs on the internet basically fine. Uh, if you want to look at the specs here, here's the system properties. As you can see, like I said, it is a dual Xeon system, two processors. Wow, that's going to give someone a seizure. Um, and it's got two gigs of RAM. So in theory, I guess you could say this system is a dual core. It was the, basically a first dual core ever designed. Um, but as you can see, like right there, there are four threads because of hyper-threading. Two of these threads of, or uh, two of these and two, these and this is a CPU. So CPU, CPU, um, and we're just kicking it around there in RAM wise. This system does not have a lot of RAM, so 
And this machine has a, an upgraded graphics. This machine, I originally got it with a Quadro FX4500, which for its time was a $4,000 card. That was a very expensive video card. By today's standards, it was crap. Um, I wasn't really able to do much with it. But um, in hardware here, I just got a much more slimmed down version of a card. I've got a... Um, I've got a little uh, ATI Radeon HD 43 slash 45 series, or 45 uh, hunt, or 1000 series, so this machine's got a little bit of a nice little graphics on it, nothing really particularly super duper, but something that I'll get it by just fine, as you can see I got the, I'm not really a big AMD person, I like their drop in like business grade video cards, I think their business grade video cards are really nice, and as you can see this monitor's not half bad actually, um, it's not a bad monitor. It obviously is a little off in picture. There's nothing I can really do about that because that's like an Apple configuration thing. And I'm getting really annoyed, so I'll be right back. You know, this little video was filmed right here on Election Day. So for those who are wondering, basically, people are calling up constantly saying, Oh, cut taxes, vote for Donald Trump, or some bull crap like that. And honestly, I freaking hate politics. I think it's a bunch of crap how all of it works. And I think it's all rigged, and I don't care for even trying to vote, because there's no point we're all going to be screwed anyhow in this particular time. And it's very, very scary on what's going on, but that's not the point of this video, so I digress. Nothing really has to show about this machine. I guess one thing I can really show about it is how kick-ass the audio is. Um, I might not even do that. You've, I, I've, I'd probably make a different video about this little PV amp. So anyhow, that is all for this video. I have nothing really else to show about it, because like I said, this machine practically, uh, just I just use it to team viewer into people's machines. Um, very fast shutdown. Team viewer into people's machines to fix it. Or if I need to download a driver, I go to that machine. So thank you for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.